All right, and hello everyone. The last time I made some cake pops, I didn't have the opportunity or time to actually make the recording so that you all could see it as I was actually going through the motions of preparing the balls. I just showed you the after effect. So here you're watching me as I roll my cake uh, after I've crumbled it and I've put a half a container of icing in it. I used a yellow cake mix and a buttercream frosting. After I got my cake mix cooled, I crumbled it, put that in, put the um, half the container of icing in, and began to mix it through so that I could make my cake balls. And the reason you use a half container of icing is so that your cake balls aren't overloaded with icing to the point that you have no um, ability to make them firm enough to set. So that when you're dipping them in your candy coating, you don't have to worry about your cake mix breaking up in it. So right now, I am making some extras from the cake mix I had left over. And I'm actually making these for my niece's uh, sleepover that they had yesterday, which would have been, what, August the 11th. I think that's right. And uh, I believe yesterday was the 11th. Sometimes these days get a little off. So, yeah, it was the 11th on Saturday. So now I am getting prepared to actually dip my cake pops as well as my cake balls. Normally I would use, you know, different pans. It just depends on what I'm doing at the moment. Here, I've melted my um, white, excuse me, I've melted my white uh, candy coating which in this case I'm using the candy melts and I think somewhere within this video I will show that um, and as you see I just rolled it around and I always set the sticks and let them sit for a minute or I'll pop them in the refrigerator for a little while what you're watching me do right now is I'm sprinkling a uh, sugar sprinkle on top and of course you know everything is edible and I use the little uh, the little cake pop holder to allow them to sit while they, uh, the candy coating dries. So you'll see me go through the motions with this. And it's really simple to do. You just roll it around. I'm always gentle, even if I have a good set on my pops in my sticks. <clears throat> Excuse me. I always make sure that I'm very careful when I'm rolling them around. And here I'm using a pink candy. Uh, sugar um, I said I was gonna look at all this stuff to make sure I gave it to you all correct but it is a uh, a real fine pink sugar that I just sprinkled across there alright I'm adjusting the camera here I'm sorry about that as you all know I normally don't do videos where I'm actually doing instruction so this is my first instructional video where you are actually seeing me roll the cake pop in the uh, candy coating and that sugar is called like a sugar dust here in uh, Dallas and actually I went to uh, Richardson there is a place I like to go to because they have classes I've never attended a class but I would like to I may eventually do that I've been doing a lot of things that I've been really wanting to get into so um, they have a lot of products and all kinds of goodies out there but uh, those sprinkles that you're seeing right there I bought those at Walmart uh, I just like to kind of mix it up when I'm doing just a variety and plus I had a surplus of a few things left over so they didn't know that I was gonna make these cake pops for their um, as you can see uh, hold on let me let me back up I redipped that if you'll notice because I missed the top of it and you can still see cake. It was like a little circle, so I redipped it. Okay, now back to what I was saying. They had no idea that I was going to make these cake pops. And so I was using a, like, whatever I had left. I had some red candy melts and I had some white candy melts. And those candy melts are by Wilton. But the uh, place that I like to frequent to buy some of the supplies that I use like the cake pop boxes that you saw in the other video with the spider-man cake pops 
I buy that from the cake carousel in Richardson, Texas. So what you're seeing me do here is a variety of different sprinkles and, and sugar dusting and things of that nature. I haven't ever used fondant. Um, and I'm not sure I will, but I don't know. It just depends. Once I, you know, think about taking a, some of their classes out there to do some other things that they have going on that are real unique and different, I may come back on here and show you some other things, you know, once I get that down. But we'll see. Because I think a majority of the classes are held, I think, on Saturdays. And I really don't have free Saturdays. Okay, I didn't really do a good job of showing you all right here where I'm rolling. But uh, I just wanted you to get an idea of what I do and how I do it with these uh, when I'm decorating. I also use um, an edible writing utensil too when I want to write something on the cake pops. So, in this case, I did a total of 12, I believe. I did 12. I'm, I'm readjusting them now because I'll be switching in a few minutes from the um, white candy melt to the red candy melt. So, I'm trying to get everything aligned and adjusted so I don't have to move them around and allow them the time to set as well. But if you'll see there, I'm just doing a rolling motion. And what I normally do is take my candy melts and when I first started this I was using the almond bark chocolate or white that you can buy in your baking department at your grocery store um, what I was doing was putting that in like a, a saucepan and melting it down with a double boiler um, of course as time went on I you know learned differently and, and of course the the lady at my job who like told me one day how to make these she didn't show me she just told me because she had gone out to the cake carousel to take these classes she, uh, she just simply told me what to do and she was saying you know why are you you know putting them on the on the stove anymore she said I hadn't done that in a long time I popped mine in the microwave and then I kind of did some other research and found out that you can pop them in the microwave for 45 seconds, the candy melts, and then take them out and stir, put them back in for 30 seconds, take them out and stir, and put them back in for 30 seconds. The trick to it is you, you want to just get it to where it melts it down real smooth, where you can roll your uh, cake balls or pops around in it. If you overdo it, it'll burn your candy melt, and trust me, you, you, you won't be happy with that at all. And when I dip my sticks into uh, get them when I'm setting them in the cake ball, I, I really like to use the same color of uh, what I'm going to dip it in. In this case, I didn't do that, so you'll notice that I around the stick area before I dipped it in the red, it was just uh, white from that uh, from the white candy coating melt. So here we are rolling and dipping and as you can see I use about anything to melt it down as long as it's glass and I can dip and without any issues of you know getting it in there rolling around real easy so as you can see they come out really smooth doesn't take any time at all and they set really fast this was some candy melt I had left over from the spider-man party and actually I still have quite a bit left so we're dipping and I think I probably have one more after this one and what you're going to see after I get this dipped because if you notice I haven't sprinkled anything on these I'm going to come back with the white candy coating with white candy melt and you'll see me do just some little freestyle stuff kind of abstract I guess you could say in a way all right here's where the switch is coming in oh and I did end up putting something some sprinkles on oh as you can see I told you I don't like to waste anything <laughs> I don't like to waste anything at all so here I am popping sprinkles on 
what was left over from when we shook and, and done the, you know did all the sprinkling I'm sorry when I shook and did all the sprinkling earlier just took the surplus and used it all right all right I'm moving that one because I don't want it to bump trust me when you've done this enough you know when you may have a little issue because I have put them in that stand and they bumped each other and messed up and you're like oh my goodness okay I always try to use the one that's a little bit more set than the others because you know I just did these and so it's going to blend in because my icing is going to be kind of hot or warm alright I'm just showing you that that's the white candy milk and now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to use. Okay, see? And I just decided to even use the red spoon I had. You know, had the spoon I used to dip the, um, to stir the red candy melts with. Okay. Sorry about all the double talking, you all. I'm just trying to make sure I'm staying along with the video and explaining what I've done. See? I kind of like to marble it. I guess that's what you could call it. And if you'll notice, you'll see me do a little rolling and a tapping motion. And that's to get rid of any excess so it won't drip down the stick or onto things. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. I wanted to zoom in for a little bit. See, if I had somebody to shoot this, we could have done this a little differently. but. I just wanted to take this opportunity and actually show you all what I was doing because I said that I would do that night. I thought, well, here's the opportunity to go ahead and do that. Plus, I noticed on that Spider-Man Cake Pop video, I had a lot of um, views on it. I mean, I, a lot of people probably say a lot of views is over a thousand, but I had like um, 257 or something like that. So I said, somebody's been looking at it for whatever the reason is. And I'm thinking it may be those cake pop boxes. Because a lot of people, when I take those, you know, when I deliver cake pops in those boxes, people find that very unique. Because you can't find those boxes, like, everywhere. And they even sell, like, the cutest little cake ball box. So that you can set your um, cake balls in them individually as well. And I want to tell you all something. You're going to see in this video where I uh, wrap these and I explained in my other video that I like to use candy wrappers. Well, I forgot I didn't have any more candy wrappers after making those 48 cake pops because I had used up some of the candy wrappers before that. And by the time I did it for that party, there were no more um, candy wrappers. So I tried to improvise because I had bought some bags from Hobby Lobby for a, a class project for my niece. So what I decided to do was cut those bags so that I could stick these in them and it, the bags wouldn't be too long. Well, let me tell you, that was a mistake because those bags, I ended up cutting them too short. So you'll see, I was able to get them wrapped up, but I had a time of it and that was because I wasn't using an actual candy wrapper, lollipop bags. Because you can go to Michael's and buy those um, lollipop bags, and they come with the um, the wrapper and the ribbon. And I think they sell a packaging with uh, the sticks as well, but they don't have the right size. These sticks you're looking at here are six-inch sticks. I have used, and they're thicker sticks. I've used this, the thinner sticks. I didn't like those. Unless you're doing smaller cake pops, those thinner sticks just uh, don't work out well and um, if you choose to use the 8 inch cake pop sticks um, the candy sticks let me tell you you'll have to find a cake pop box that can accommodate that because the cake pop boxes that I use accommodate 6 inch sticks not 8 inch lollipop sticks so as you can see I kind of took um, a little plastic knife and did some decorating in there. Like I said, it's kind of abstract. Free for all. Do what you want to do. I wasn't using, you know, providing these for any special occasion, just for a sleepover. And I thought it would be a nice surprise. Especially since they didn't know that I was going to do it. So here is uh, what I've done. And these are my 12 cake pops. And, uh, 
I think they they uh, they well I know they enjoyed it. Even my little nephew, who's seven months, was trying to eat one. My brother was, you know, kind of cracking it and giving him some so he could have a little bit. Now, here are the, the leftover cake. Oh, did I even get to show it to you? Okay, those are my leftover cake balls that I made from the cake I had left over. So, I have a, uh, a little pastry box. I'm going to line that box, and I'm just going to lay those in there. I wish I had made more of those. Now, I'm showing you the sanding sugar that I bought. And that, I bought these things from the cake carousel. Edible glitter. Some more sanding sugar. Pastel pink. And we have sprinkles which you can use on your cupcakes or even your cake if you want to. That's what I got from Walmart. And I decorated the bags. I was Again, everything was just stuff I had left over from class projects with my niece and I'm trying to show you that I wrote slumber party on them. if I had had the time I actually would have even um, probably not written on those I would have put each girl's name on a bag since the cake was the same if I had done chocolate and vanilla then I probably wouldn't have done it that way but I had some leftover stuff and I just kind of wanted to decorate the bags which you'll see I actually shouldn't have wrote on them I should have just left it uh, with the little ball on it and left it as is okay and now I am getting ready to put the cake pops into the bags and it, like I said I cut the bags too short because the bags were really long and big and again I was improvising since I didn't buy any uh, didn't realize I didn't have any uh, candy wrappers so you see here, I'm kind of struggling with this, trying to get it in. Okay. But I finally do get it done. I know now that I need to start keeping some surplus bags on hand, too. And that ribbon right there came with a, a candy wrapper packaging. For some reason, I had more ribbon, though, than bags. I don't know how that happened, because sometimes... <laughs> I'm holding my hands out like what? Um, sometimes you just don't have enough um, of one thing over the other. Sorry for that little space of time. I was looking at what I was doing here. Um, I'm working it out. Look at me. I'm trying. I'm trying to work that out again. I don't know why I cut those bags too short, but I that won't be happening again. Trust me. But it worked out okay. All I knew is after I got past that first one, I was like, I got to hear up and get this done. I can tell now I'm not going to enjoy this. Now I have to readjust the ribbon because as you can see, one side is longer than the other. And I hope this video isn't like way too long for you. I'm just trying to take it through the motions and show you what I've done. I've tried to edit it down as much as possible, but still show you what I'm doing so that you'll have an idea as to how I put my things together and I didn't use a cake pop box because I've used up all of my boxes as well so with these I just decided to uh, deliver them in a bag okay everything's wrapped up here I got them all done okay and those are the, bo the box in in the background there where I put them in a the box and that's just a mixture it's, the color looks like that because I blended that red and that white uh, candy melt all together at, at one point so just to have something a little different so they're all done and I I know the girls enjoy them they were like what what is that what kind of lollipop is this they enjoyed them they said they were rather good and moist so all right and that was that um, maybe next time I can show you all some other things that I do but I have to tell you I really don't have a lot of time for a lot of things okay I just wanted to show you what I had done with them that's what they look like I try to do a little variety so each kid or grown up can have their own special sometimes like I said I just do a solid color but I appreciate you all watching and uh, 
<laughs> I promised the video so there it is thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing uh, those of you who, who are subscribers and uh, we'll see what else we come up with <laughs>